Chapter 27 Feign Madness, But Keep Your Balance When an eagle is about to attack, it will fly low and draw in its wings. When a fierce cat is about to strike, it will fold back its ears and crouch low. When the sage is about to move, he will certainly display a stupid countenance. From the Six Secret Teachings of the Tai Gong Hide behind the mask of a fool, a drunk, or a madman to create confusion about your intentions and motivations. Lure your opponent into underestimating your ability until, overconfident, he drops his guard. Then you may attack. From the Ming Dynasty, China Just before his death in 1398, the founder of the Ming Dynasty, Hong Wu, bequeathed that the throne be passed over his sons to his grandson, Hui Di. Only sixteen when he was appointed emperor, Hui Di was counseled by treacherous advisers to eliminate the other branches of the family. One by one, the young emperor's uncles were summoned to court to answer to charges of corruption. Always found guilty, they were stripped of their rank, reduced to the status of commoner, and exiled to a remote district. One of the uncles, the prince of Shang, refused the summons and, in protest, set fire to his palace, burning his family to death. Then, mounting his terrified horse, he charged into the fire to meet his own death. A year later, five of the princes had been eliminated, leaving only one uncle that still retained position in the government, the prince of Yan. The prince was alone and isolated, waiting for the inevitable summons to court, which he could not refuse, since, in keeping with tradition, his own sons were being held as hostages in the capital. To give himself time to plan a way of saving himself, he feigned madness. He ran through the streets of Beijing, screaming and yelling, stealing food and wine, and sleeping in gutters. For days he sank into deep depressions and would see no one. In warm weather, he sat by the stove, shivering and complaining of the cold. But it was all a smokescreen meant to deceive the emperor. When the emperor heard these reports, he said, Alas, my poor uncle has gone truly insane. Let us release his sons to him, in the hope that they may bring him back to reason. This was the young emperor's fatal mistake. With his sons safe, the Prince of Yan was free to openly challenge the Emperor's authority. He raised an army, and by 1402 the young Emperor was dead, and the Prince of Yan assumed the throne as the Emperor Yongle, one of the Ming Dynasty's greatest rulers. Summary It is well known that the strongest contender in any sphere of activity automatically fears and therefore becomes the enemy to the second strongest. To hide your strength, feign madness, since without the power of rational thought, all other powers are useless. When you cease being a threat, hostile attentions will be focused on the next most powerful. This buys you time to scheme for victory.